If you've been teaching for more than a couple of years, you're probably pretty confident that you know how to handle teaching social studies to elementary age students. But could there be something out there that could make you an even better teacher? The answer is yes, technology. Technology comes in many forms, although what most readily comes to mind might be the Internet and computers. But chances are you're already incorporating technology into your day-to-day -day routine. Some of the main types of technology are software, hardware, and the Internet. We're going to look at examples of each of these types of technology. Let's start with software. You'll find many uses for applications such as those from the Microsoft Office system in your classroom. For example, you could use a word processor application such as Microsoft Office Word to create a world geography test. You could paste in a copy of a blank map of the world, add lines pointing to continents, countries, or oceans, and have students write in the names. You could use a presentation program such as Microsoft Office PowerPoint to create a slideshow to accompany a lecture on the American frontier. Your slideshow might contain slides with text, pictures of frontier families, and audio recordings of settlers' journals. Or you could create a spreadsheet showing how much supplies cost for a wagon trip out west. We've just looked at a few ways you could use word processor, spreadsheet, and presentation applications in your social studies classes. In the space provided, enter at least one more idea for each type of application. When you're done, click Next to continue. Another way to use software in the classroom is to assign projects requiring students to use a computer. You might have them organize their knowledge about a topic using a graphic organizer such as a flowchart. This is a great way for students to evaluate sequences, such as how a bill is made into a law. If you're teaching geography, you might also have students play a game such as Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Travel the World with Timmy or GeoCycle USA. If computers are limited, you can arrange stations where some students use computers, some listen to CD recordings of the music from different countries, some watch video clips, and some listen to audiobooks. In addition to software, hardware is also easily and effectively used in elementary social studies classes. For example, you might show a video or DVD of a Native American tribal dance. DVDs are especially convenient because you can pick and choose the chapters you want to show. This is a great tool for introducing students to other cultures, allowing them to visualize the concepts you are teaching. Similarly, you can use a slide projector or LCD projector connected to a computer to show pictures of people from the country you're studying in geography. You can also project maps that show how the borders of a country have changed over time. You might also use an overhead projector with a transparency so that you can delineate cultural or ethnic boundaries within a country. Older children may enjoy role-playing and recording their performance using a video camera. You can have students act out an important event in history, such as the colonists' first encounter with Native Americans or the Boston Tea Party. You might even want to assign a trustworthy student as cinematographer. Role-playing allows students to take an active part in learning, showing them that history can be exciting. Now let's take a moment to review some of the hardware you can use in your own classroom. Answer this question and then click Next to move on.
As for the Internet, you have almost unlimited possibilities. You can obtain lesson plans from websites. You can perform searches using search engines. And you can share ideas with other teachers using chat rooms or discussion boards. Students can also use discussion boards to share their thoughts and gain other students' perspectives on current events, such as a war or a natural disaster. In addition, you can use sites like GoogleEarth.com to view real satellite images of the Earth, which you can compare to maps you obtain from sites such as MapQuest.com. This can be useful when you're studying your home state or city, as it allows students to see how much detail maps contain or omit. It also helps with learning the concept of scale. Students can easily see how large or close landmarks are in relation to each other. You can also introduce students to safe chat rooms, such as those on the Yahooligan site and at FamilyChat.com. Chat rooms offer an opportunity for students to communicate with students from other countries or to share ideas about a topic. You might even have students brainstorm with other kids in a chat room about ideas for an oral presentation, such as one about Lewis and Clark's travels. As you can see, the possibilities for integrating technology in your classroom are limitless, and we've only provided a few examples. Think of how they could be applied to lessons in your classroom. However, instead of randomly selecting ideas from this lesson, be sure to evaluate the technology you choose to make sure it truly enhances your lesson. Technology may sometimes be convenient, but it can't replace the most valuable resource in the classroom, you. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or as an administrative aid.